Hi everybody, it's Kristen, and I have been tagged to do this video by a couple of people. Originally I was tagged by the beautiful Sani um, from Miss May 27, which of course I will link below for you guys, but you've heard me talk about her several times. The tag that I was tagged to do is the beauty things that I am, and I'm going to say stink at. I don't particularly like the word suck. I suppose that makes me sound like prudish or something, but I don't particularly like that word. So here are the beauty things that I stink at. Um, the first thing, and everybody say it with me, contouring. I just, I, you know, I get it. I've watched a ton of videos. I've tried a bunch of products. I, it's a work in progress. I'm not giving up on it by any means because, you know, the chipmunk girls here need to be chiseled a little bit. But anyway, so that is the first thing that I am not very good at. I have the, I listed them on my phone in case you see me, see me looking down. That's what I'm looking at. The next thing I have, and this actually has been a frequent answer, frequent answer of a lot of people, and that is winged liner. Um, not only do I stink at doing it on myself, but I don't think I've practiced enough doing it on other people. Um, it's not like I'm a makeup artist or anything, but I do help my friends out and, you know, my niece, and I've done a couple of weddings and stuff. Um, fortunately, nobody has asked me to do that, but I've practiced a couple of times on some friends, and I just need a little bit more practice. But winged liner, just not just not not my forte um, and part of that on me is that I just don't have eyes that can handle winged eyeliner I've hooded eyes and I'm 40 and I just don't think I can rock that look um, okay so this one is adding in color is how I listed it on here and I think that it is really tricky for me to get out of my comfort zone when it comes to color and that's not brand new information to any of you guys uh, a lot of that stems from, you know, the environment that I work in. I'm in sales, um, in an office, I just feel, and I'm 40. <laughs> so I just feel like um, I, I've kind of settled into neutrals and I don't use as, as much color as I sh um, should or could. So I really have tried uh, with some lip colors lately. You know, little things here and there. I'm going to try to do some kind of pops and color. I thought I might do a video on how, you know, someone of my age could uh, work the emerald, you know, the color of the year into their eye looks, that sort of thing. So uh, adding a little more color is a beauty challenge for me, shall, shall we say. But I'm getting much better at, at, my, at my lips. You know, and to that end, the next thing that I'm not so good at, I call it lip neglect. Anybody that's been around since day one on my channel has heard me say that several times. I am great at putting on lipstick right away. Not even, no, that's not true. I am getting better at putting on lipstick right away in the morning, especially if I'm filming, but frequently I forget it or I throw it in my purse and I never touch up my lips again throughout the day. I am not a toucher upper. When I put on makeup in the morning, I want it to look good all ding dang day. I don't want to have to touch it up. So I'm looking for makeup to perform for me for 12 to 14 hours. Am I asking for a lot? Possibly. So, um, you know, the, part, of that is, part of that not wanting to touch up includes my lips. So if I find something long wearing, you better believe you're going to hear about it. For me, because I really, I, I enjoy a long wearing product because, again, not a touch rubber. Uh, okay, the next thing I have on here is um, tanning products. I don't know that you guys have ever heard me talk about a self tanner. I do have the Saint Tropez that came out last year that is a white you know, like a gradual tan, kind of like the Jergens one. Those are the only two products I've really ever used because I am scared to death that I'm going to turn my palms orange, my elbows are going to be orange, my ears are going to be orange. I'm going to look like a crazy person. Let's just, I'm going to look like a crazy person. So I just choose to embrace my white skin. Um, and you know, it is what it is. I try to add a little color with some bronzer here and there, but as you know, nothing crazy there either. So, um, you know, working with tanning products is, is a, not something I'm very good at because I've not had much experience. Uh, nail care is something I think I'm not very good at either. I don't have really bad cuticles that grow over and I think that's because I've never cut them. I've never been in the habit of cutting my cuticles and I have heard, I don't know this to be true by any means, but I've heard that the more you cut your cuticles, the more they grow in. True? Not true? I don't know. Wives tale? Um, so I would say that I, um, I've just started being good about when I put my lotion on at night, I rub it into each cuticle and that does seem to be helping a little bit, but I definitely have some cuticle issues and I, I'm not so good at taking care of my nails. And I just started really paying attention to them within the past probably six months. 
and you know they are starting to look a little better and my polish is staying on a little longer because of that so there you go and the last thing that I have for you isn't necessarily the act of putting on makeup or something like that it is um, something that I would consider inner beauty or inner grace and that is taking a compliment I have a really hard time taking a compliment I will often make a joke about it or make some sort of um, self-deprecating comment or something like that um, and and I think that that's that's a, that's a beauty thing that I stink at. It's an inner beauty thing that I stink at. Uh, I need to simply find the words, thank you. I give that advice to people all the time when they don't take my comments, but I need to, you know, I need to work on the words, thank you, and just take a compliment in, in the intent in which it was meant. So. so those are the beauty things that I stink at. There were, I think pretty much everybody in the world has been tagged, so I won't tag anybody, but if you haven't done this video, um, and are interested in doing it, consider yourself tagged. Anybody that has done it, please link it below. I would love to see what you guys have said. Uh, and yeah, that's all that I have for you guys today. I, if you don't want to see what's on my face, then thank you for watching. And if you do, I actually am going to tell you about it versus show you because I'm in a different location. Um, on my eyes today, I have Max Pigment in Tan and then a little Soft Brown. And then I use some in Bark on the outside corner just to give it a little more punch. Uh, and I took the tan underneath and then I lined my lower rim with Lucky Penny, which, Lucky, no, Lucky Penny, with Lucky from Urban Decay. Uh, it's kind of a, actually a copper penny looking kind of liner just to kind of pop my blues a little bit. And then I just have um, Tarte liner on top, mascara. For blush today, I have the Exposed Blush from Tarte and a little Laura Mercier Rose um, Illuminator. And on my lips today, I did bring that so I wouldn't forget. <laughs> lip neglect sugar plum um, lip whatever that is um, by covergirl no by Revlon color burst oh, what are they? lip butters lip butters game um, that's what I have on my lips today so if you have any questions on anything I said go ahead and leave it below um, thank you guys so much for watching I hope you have a great day and I will talk to you very soon bye